everyone talking about Iris Malacan by Mason Crivelli. The notes in this are cypress, lentisk, galbanum, orris, butter, mimosa, vanilla, leather, amber, and musks. This is like powdery, like carroty, almost orris, which is iris root, dark green galbanum, and fresh cypress with leather and pink pepper that's kind of countered by like a subtle happy sweetness from the vanilla, mimosa, amber, and musk. And the musk really comes out a lot more for me by the end of the dry down. People compare this sometimes to Italian Leather by Memo, and I can totally see where they're coming from. To me, this is almost like the carrot version of that being tomato-y, because that has some tomato-ish notes in it, or tomato leaf or something like that. Though this still definitely has that like green plant stem aspect from the galbanum. This almost smells to me more like it could be like a flanker in those Memo, like they have, you know, all different, like ocean leather, Italian leather, like a bunch of different things, like carrot, <laughs> you know, some other kind of leather here not that it's just straight up smells like carrots or something like that but it i mean none of them is straight up in that series smell exactly like one note or anything like that but this is just kind of like fits with the way that memo typically does their sort of leather stuff i like the way that the vanilla comes out more here as it dries down though the musk comes out too much for me by the end for it to be my type of thing but overall i think it's pretty nice and yeah that sweetness kind of helps cut through some of that harshness in the opening that could have otherwise been there from like galbanum can be very like bitter green for example and i think if you like orris if you've tried that you know and you like the idea of like a powdery orris with dark green galbanum that turns into a more sweet vanilla musky dry down yeah it'd be worth trying it smells high quality and definitely smells niche i would say so yeah the quality is there Moderate to good longevity and projection goes for $120 for a 30 milliliter bottle or $260 for a 100 milliliter. And yeah, pretty unisex, I would say. And I'll link in the description where you can get a bottle or a sample.